Hey guys, Nick here with Picture This, and today we're going to be talking about a special little thing I picked up a couple days ago. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I bet you're probably wondering what it is from that very interesting hook right there. So what I ended up picking up was a Canon EOS 80D. gonna be so good they got flip out screen um, top LCD um, it's pretty robust and big compared to uh, what I'm shooting with right here on the NX 300 M and I also didn't pick this up but I had this we're gonna be putting this 50 mil 1.8 on there and I think we're gonna start shooting videos with it so um, real quick before I talk about it and everything else um, we're gonna switch to it so let's just go okay so here we are on the uh, 80d here um, you might notice that uh, it's a little bit more punched in because I am shooting on a 50 millimeter lens so if you multiply that by the crop factor over here which is 1.6 you get 80 millimeters so it was really punched in not as wide as the 18 to 55 on this camera but um, again, you could always um, eventually get like a wide lens or something, but I just spent a, money, a bunch of money on this, so we are going to save. <laughs> anyway, you're probably wondering, how much is this camera or how much did you get it for? I got it for $600. Uh, that's pretty good since usually new, um, it runs like $1,300 uh, to 1000 usually, depending on what condition and how many accessories and everything else like that. Um, Another thing you'll notice is I can like move my head all around and um, it locks on really nice because it's got that dual pixel autofocus. And that's one of the main reasons why I was looking at this camera is because it's got that lock on tracking. It's that got that great autofocus and that is really crucial when you're taking photos or you're doing some video or filmmaking work. Another thing I liked is the top LCD that displays all your settings and everything else so you don't even have to look in the viewfinder to know what your settings are. That's another cool feature. Um, another thing I like is just like how robust it is. It is a little bit bigger than my um, T2i. Uh, look for a comparison on that coming. Um, as well as comparing it to the Samsung NX300M which has been my main video shooter for so long. Um, I really think I'm going to have a lot of room to grow into this camera and really expand my filmmaking and video making skills. Um, again, it has an EF mount, which means it's very versatile, so you can put Canon lenses on it, Sigma lenses, Tamron, all that good stuff from different manufacturers, and they're all gonna work per perfectly fine. Again, this is like a mid-range kind of like enthusiast camera, so it's not like your entry level Rebel series, that type of thing. And you're probably wondering, in this age of mirrorless, like why did I go with a DSLR? Well, A, um, it's more affordable, obviously, because the new mirrorlesses are still like a um, thousand plus almost anywhere where you uh, would go to get them. And I really wanted to stick with the Canon system since I have a handful of EF lenses already. And yeah, that was kind of like my thought uh, process behind why I purchased this camera. Um, you're probably thinking, are you going to stop like using the Samsung and I think yes, but not until I do like comparisons and everything else so you guys um, really know like what's going on between um, the two or three even, uh, including the T2i, three cameras. Again, probably when I'm all done, I'm going to be selling them, so 
I don't know, if you would be interested in purchasing, I guess <laughs> reach out to me in the comments or something. I don't know. Anyway, I think that really does it for this video. I'm probably going to do a more in-depth review of the ADD as well as comparisons and everything like that later. This was kind of just like a first look. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Drop a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.